sports actor right now. We just got done with week six of the high school football season. And my question is, is your team in the playoff mix? By this point, you should know what kind of team you have. Are they a group of fighters? Are they a team that will give it their all every week? Well, I'll tell you what, our week six team of the week is definitely in the mix, and they give it their all week in and week out. It's the Luke Longhorns, and Kyle's joining me in studio as team head coach, Bear Chesley. Coach, congratulations on being the end zone team of the week. Uh, thank you, man. We're really excited to be here. We really appreciate it. That's an honor to have the Longhorns here in studio. Coach, your horns improved to 5-1 on the season after a big win over Wilman Union, 59-14. to Yeah, it was awesome. It was, it was a very emotional week, a very stressful week, I think, for all of us together, and and then uh, when we came out there and, and just kind of put it to them, it, was, it just cemented what kind of team we are, and I'm really excited about them. Your offense, though, in that game was unreal. 475 yards of total offense on 37 plays. Yeah. I think that's crazy, Coach. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's, it's what we're building up to. Um, you know, I was kind of thinking about this today. Uh, this is the team that I've been working for for 14 years, this offense that I've wanted. Mm -hmm. um, and the boys will know how meticulous I get about our offense when we're in practice. What's the one thing that I always say? <laughs> one more. <laughs> nice. okay, one more play, one more play, one more time, and then we, we go about 15 more plays. The best thing, though, the, the thing that made me just just so happy and so just blessed to be where I'm at was at halftime. I got my whole offensive line sitting here, and they're, they're just holding out their gloves, and like, they're stacked up here, here, here. We can go here. We can go here. Let's do this. Let's do that. And I just kind of stepped back and was right. like, you guys got this, man. You you get it now, and that's 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 the thing that any teacher or coach will always tell you is when the kids finally they get it, and it's it's an amazing feeling. When the when the, the athletes start holding each other accountable, yes, I think sir. that's outstanding. Well, and also in your second year, I know this team is all in for this year because yeah. you have a great senior class. Talk about that group. Well, it, it is. I mean, it, and this is I'll tell you what, and I don't know if the boys know this, but the the day when I interviewed for the job and I. I went there with zero expectations. Honestly, didn't even really want the job. I kind of just went. I just went to go. Um, I was at Spur, and I was I was, I was happy there. And uh, just being an assistant girls coach, I was just fine staying under the radar. But I remember when I saw them, and they were sophomores at the time, and uh, went in there in the weight room with them and just kind of watched them. And I just had a feeling about them. Um, you know, uh, Zeke Colton and um, Daniel. I just I had such a just such high expectations for what they what they could bring and what they could do. And I was like, I can help these guys. I can make a difference here. And and I from then on I was I was all in for a loop. Well and it's kind of it's translating on the field. The team's five and one the first time really since twenty sixteen that this team has won this many games. Uh, let's go back to you guys being all in though. Yeah. I remember talking to you for the pigskin preview. You said this team uh, is all in for this season because of the senior class. You guys want to go out there and win gold balls. That's yeah. the goal. That, that, that is. I mean, that's <laughs> when we lost to Wilson, and um, that was an emotional game because that's where I was at for four years. And um, I know the guys wanted to beat them, mm -hmm. and we were just low on kids. And I remember telling them, "We're we're gonna be here next year. We're gonna be the ones celebrating over there. That's gonna be us. That has to be our goal." Because I know that they want that. And I, the biggest thing that I always say is once you get that gold ball and you get your name inscribed on there, you're in there for history. Yeah. And the biggest thing that I always tell them, and I want them to always remember, is how do you want to be remembered? How do you want to leave your legacy? How do you want to leave for the future people coming up? And that's the biggest thing. You know, one of the things we talked about is our junior high got beat up, beat up pretty bad by Wellman. And so a lot of our guys, that was the thing I was talking about. Those was like, those are your little brothers. So you go out there and you defend them for, for what happened to them last. Awesome, Coach. Well, congratulations on being the team of the week. Appreciate it. All right, let's bring in the guys. We're going to start with Josh Braddock. Uh, you're a foreign exchange student from Germany. You played nine-man football and 11-man football, but now he's playing six-man football out in Luke. Talk about that transition. I think that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So basically it's just less lineman and a lot of running. Okay. And, and the position of wide receiver, what I play, is not that much anymore. So I had to change. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Yeah, you had to adjust your game to play wide receiver over in Germany. And now you're playing a lot of defense, and this defense is really good. Besides the Crest game, you guys have 148 tackles on the season. Talk about how you guys take great pride on that side of the ball. I mean, we have a great defense. Most of the time, it's Coach Avery telling us what to play, and then we just get it done. Mm -hmm. And I hear you have a pretty good Texas accent. You say y'all really good. Y'all. <laughs> I, love, I love it, man. Next, we're going to go to the senior, Colton Tolbert. Coach tells me you're like uh, another coach on the field. You play quarterback. Um, and you know the offense in and out. Talk about that, how it helps you guys when you're playing offense. It's just nice to be able to know what we're doing and know where everyone's blocking and being able to adjust when they have to and telling people what to do when to do it. Well, and the offense is playing extremely well right now. We talked about the yardage with Coach, but when you, you guys don't pass the ball much, 
when you do it's effective but the running game has been special for you guys 1500 yards on the season talk about the running backs because there's a lot of them for you guys we have three we have josh michael and darian mm -hmm. <laughs> josh is kind of our speedster for the sweeps and then darian and michael just kind of pound the ball down the middle and just get it done basically I know why coach calls you a coach on the field. You know, you, you know exactly what these guys are meant to do out there on the field. That's big time, man. Finally, we're going to go to Zeke Martinez, another senior on this team. Talk about this loop community, man. I know they got to be amped for, mm -hmm. for the small yeah, team. They're awesome. They come out and support us all the time. It always makes us happy and pumped. So that's why we like to play. That's awesome. Well, our next Jeff Silverton, what will it take to beat the Owls on your home turf? I mean, our defense, you know, we keep it up. And we can stop that offense of theirs, and our offense is clicking. It's going to be good. Definitely clicking. Okay. One more. One more, right? One more. This coach looks better with a beard or without a beard? Oh, beard. <laughs> Definitely. All day. All day. All day. All day. Perfect there, coach. And I want to say congratulations to you guys on being the end zone team of the league. Best of the web the rest of the way out. We're along for the ride with you guys. So keep it going. All right. Stay with us here on KCBD Sports Extra. We're going to wrap up the show with the best thing I saw this week in the Sports Extra Play of the Week. Stay with us.